Hello everybody. I am E Krishnara Patro, Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science Engineering, IAR Institute of Analytical Engineering College. Today we will discuss about a one more topic that is bubble sort. Bubble sort is a special type of sorting technique which is generally useful to arrange the data in an order. So there are different types of sorting techniques are there. One of the important, uh, important sorting techniques are bubble, insertion sort, elision sort, and quick sort, merge sort, and heap sort. So using sorting, you can arrange the element in either ascending order or descending order. There are two types of ordering, either ascending or descending. So you can sort the data using any of the following sorting techniques like bubble sort, insertion sort, selection sort, quick sort, mesh sort or heap sort. So you can use any of the sorting. So today we will discuss about the bubble sort. The bubble sort is the one of the simplest sorting algorithm that works well if there are limited set of data is there and it is performing by swapping the adjacent element. Bubble sort will swap the adjacent elements until it gets proper order. The time complexity for sorting the data is given below. The best time case is order of n itself and average case order of n square. Worst case is order of n square and the uh, amount of memory required is order of 1 and it is stable as well as it is in the same place itself. It will not deviate. You have to follow some steps to perform this particular sorting. Step 1. Start with the first element with index 0 and compare the first element with the next element of the array. So, in bubble sort, always you have to compare with first element with the its neighbor element. So, after comparing the first with the next, if the current element is greater than the next element, then swap them. After swapping, if the current element is less than the next element, then move to the next element. So, like this, repeat until all the elements are arranged. That means until you reach the end. Generally, after every iteration, the biggest element will be go to the end of the array. So, you can take one small example here. Assume you are having a set of data 21, 24, 36, 18, 29. If you observe here, the biggest element is 54. So, that means after first iteration, 54 will go to the end of the array. So, always this is the 0th index, 1st index, 2nd index, 3rd index, 4th index. So, you compare the 0th element with the 1st element. So, 21 is greater than 54. No. So, no need to do swapping. Then check 54 with 36. Whether 54 is greater than 36? Yes. If it is greater than swap. After Then 54 comes here. Again compare 54 with 18. 54 is greater than 18, then swap here, then 54 with 29, then swap, like this it has to swap. So you can observe here, step by step now, please observe here, first I am comparing 21 with 54, 21 with 54, so 21 is smaller, no need to enter change, so always you have to compare first with next, first with second, then compare second with third, 54 with 36. Now. 54 is bigger than 36. 54 is bigger than 36. So now it will swap. So 54 has come to this place. That means these two has interchanged. Now you compare 54 with 18. After comparing 54 with 18, then 54 will go. So please observe here. 54 has come to here. Then again compare 54 with 29. So, 29 has come. So, at the end of the first iteration, 54 has gone to end. Now, the second iteration begins. So, in the second iteration, it will go up to this. 
That means after every iteration, the biggest element will go to the end. It is in 2. Already 54 has come to end. Now the remaining element. 21, 36, 18, 29. Compare 21 with 36. Now 36, 21 is smaller, no need to interchange. Then compare 36 with 18. Now 36 is bigger than interchange. After interchanging, 36 has come down. Then compare 36 with 29. 26, 36 also greater than 29. So 36 has come down. So you reach to the end. Already 54 has reached end. Now 36 has come to the second, last but second. So that means after second iteration, the 36 has come to the end of the array. Now remaining, these three elements will go to third iteration. So that means these two are already over. So that means in the next iteration, these three will be under process. Now please observe here. Now these two are already sorted. So that means my process will go up to this. 21, 18. I compare 21 with 18. 21 is bigger than 18, so it has to swap. So, after swapping, the 21 has come down here. Now, compare 21 with the 29. Now, 21 is smaller. No need to do any interchange. Stop it. So, now, that means at the end of the third iteration, the third biggest element has come to the third position from the last. Now, the remaining are 18 and 21. So, go to the fourth iteration. In the fourth iteration, these two elements you have to do checking. Now, please observe here 18 and 21. You have to compare. 18 is smaller than 21. No need to do any interesting. Stop. So, that means at the fourth iteration, all the elements are in arranged order. So, finally, my sorted array will be 18. 21, 29, 36 and 54. So this is the way the bubble set works. So bubble set always checks its neighbor. So it will compare the adjacent elements. If the first one is bigger, then swap. If the first one is smaller, no need to do swapping. This point you should remember. A small program you can write using Python. Please observe here. I have written a small method, a function called bubble cert. I am passing one array, ARR. First, I am finding the length of the array. That indicates how many elements are there in that array. Now, I will start from beginning to till end of the array. Again, my inner loop also starts from j in range from 0 to n minus i minus 1. Observe here n minus i minus 1. That means at i iteration, I will go up to n minus 1. So every time the i is incrementing, so that means the internal iteration is reducing. How much reducing? By i step. Whenever i is 0, 0 step. Whenever i is 1, 1 step. Whenever i is 2, 2 step. So that means the number of internal iteration is reducing. By how much? i times. So j in Range for 0 to n minus i minus 1. Now it is comparing whether j th element is greater than j plus 1th element or not. j and j plus 1. j and j plus 1 are always neighbors. If it is j th position, this is j plus 1th position. So I have to compare j with j plus 1. If these two, if the j th element is bigger, that means if this element is bigger, assume this is 21, this is 16, then swap j with j plus 1. This is the logic for swapping. Swap it. After swapping, the value will be 16 and 21. Like this, repeat this process for all the elements. That means it is repeating loop within a loop. Next I do. So, initially, I have given 64, 34, 25, 12, 22, 11 and 19. And I am calling this method bubble set. And I am passing this list. When I am passing this, this, this will comparing with its adjacent element and finally it will is printing the sorted list. The answer will be 11, 12, 22, 
ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी फोर सिक्सटी फोर एंड नाइनटी सो दिस इज द वे यू विल गेट द सो दिस इज द सिंपल बबुल सर्ट प्रोग्राम यूजिंग पैटर्न सो वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू राइट एनी प्रोग्राम ऑलवेज यू सम मेथड्स मीन्स राइट ए स्मॉल फंक्शन using the function you can write it and that function you can call it so simply call this and pass this array as a parameter of course this array you can read from keyboard and do it in this program i have taken the sample but static data okay after sorting then the array is will be arranged in the order then print that finally you will get this output okay thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates